must say, folks, welcome to the shop. Today, let's build a gearbox on a pressure washer pump. Had a couple people ask, how do you go about doing that? We're going to get in it today with a Comet pump and a PA gearbox. Yeah, first thing we want to do is go on and get our pump out of the box. I like to use my box to put my pump on. This is a Comet RW5535 pump. When you start assembling your gearbox, leave the shipping cap in your pump. Go ahead and get it on the side. Let's see what we got in our PA gearbox. First thing you're going to start with get all these bags and parts out of here. The one with the O-rings in it, that's what we're gonna start with. Go ahead and get those out. Get this larger O-ring out so that it can go ahead and start losing some of that memory. In that package, you're gonna find your mountain bolts for your gearbox. You got these seal washers. Sometimes they're brass or copper, rather. I don't like those. I like the ones with the little rubber seal like these have. Go ahead, get all those on your bolts. Once you got them up on there, go ahead and give them a little dollop of Loctite. And with a six millimeter Allen, go ahead and bust off the side cover of your pump. PA18, PA188. Sorry, B18, B18H. All go together the same way. We'll take that side plate, flip it over, and there's a recessed area on the back side. Go ahead and fix your whole ring down in there. Now, you can set it right on top. Run these uh, four down equally. You don't want to pinch that old ring in there. You don't pull it down on each side. Got your side cover on, go ahead and pull that protector off that shaft. I like to give that keyway a little tap, sometimes it's not all the way down in there. Next, we got your larger o ring. Don't roll it on, stretch it on. If you try and roll it on, it just pops back off. Put it on there, kind of pull it over, it'll stay every time. You got your gear. A set screw. Go on ahead, get your little uh, Loctite on there. Get it started in your gear. Keep in mind this part right here. You want it seated all the way down. Gear straight down on that shaft and then tighten up that set screw. Alright. Now you've got your housing. Always point your sight glass to the back side. And I like to rotate the coupler where the engine shaft's gonna go. If you'll line that up with top, and do the same with your crankshaft on your engine, you'll have a whole lot better success installing it on your engine. Go 
bag with the caps in it. If you don't find your bolts, you put that housing on. Go ahead and preload each one of them with some Loctite. Just like we did on that other one, we'll pull them down equally. Go ahead and finish torquing them down all the way around. Once you do, Got a uh, drain plug and a ceiling washer. Go ahead and mate those together. I do put just a small drop of ceiling Loctite on there. Put that in the bottom of your gearbox. And tighten it up. You ain't got to make that King Kong tight. Sight glass to the rear. Don't over tighten the sight glass. It is plastic. It doesn't take an awful lot of torque to tighten it up. Then your vent cap. than putting oil in it, putting it on there. That's how you build a PA gearbox. That covers a, a B18, a B24, a B31 gearbox.